It's Mon. Oh, it's Sunday. Tomorrow's. Uh, oh, hey everybody. Tomorrow is. Uh, we got a recoat. So existing customer, um, real nice gal. Uh, had some tenants move out and they did some damage to her floor, and so we're gonna go do a recoat. Um, and it's been a while, so I'm just getting things together. I uh, got my got my spray bottles ready, and I've already got a couple solutions of. I like to use the squeaky clean system. My basic coatings, uh, tight coat. Oh, what do we got here? We got a uh, IFT, which is basically uh, concentrated their concentrated version of TSP and hardwood floor cleaner. I'm not going to pull it out. You can tell by the color. So I got that, and I almost forgot that I need my tack cloth. So, it's uh, tack cloth day. So, let's see what we got here. I'm going to put that up there like that. And, got my bag. I have a different washer and machine hooked up to uh, my septic line. And uh, this is it, just a cheap old washing machine rather than using uh, my house. I just didn't want all those chemicals in there. Uh, I do not have a coater that is uh, usable. So what I do, I put it in there like that and I will... Dusty. That's just dry finish. So I'll get some of these in here. Put those down in there. Just like that. And I'll wash that and then I'll put that in the dryer tonight. And we will. Let's see. Let's grab some more here. Let's grab. Let's grab those. Okay, there we go. Good enough. And it's a cheap washing machine, so it only works on the colors. Anyways, so we'll do that for now. Leave that there, like that, like that. This is good, and that's that. And then I just uh, I don't dry the towels. I don't dry them because what they're on the rinse they ring out pretty well so they stay a little damp and they'll pick up the dust so you don't want them real wet though but um, yeah so that's how I do that and uh, why I wash that applicator if I don't have one um, is to get all the little synthetic hairs off as much as possible like I said, I will um, I'll wash it. Those little hairs will stick to the um, microfiber. And uh, that way the applicator, it's not leaving fuzz. Um, doesn't, they don't fall off of the microfiber. Uh, so, and that comes off after a couple of rinses anyways. But I don't worry about that. I don't worry about that. So um, that's what I'm doing today. Uh, I got my buffer. I got all my stuff ready to go. Um, let me see here. What do we got there's the buffer. I got the Bona satin wood line. I've got my buffing plate. Uh, Got some uh, 180 screens, uh, and then I've got uh, where are my towels? Oh, here we go. So 
So I'll buff the floor with the IFT, then I'll buff the floor with the hardwood floor cleaner. And then if I have some bone of prep, I'll tack with that and whatnot. But so on my buffer, let's do this here. Let me get one of these out. Let's do that. These are my towels. So I can pick these up pretty cheap at Costco. Um, some guys can get uh, uh, at your floor supply. They'll carry the Turkish terry towels. Um, they're Turkish. But if I do this right, I can get two out of here. Um, the Turkish towels, I don't know what I'm getting. I know I'm getting some terry cloth, but I don't quite know what it is. So these here, I've got one, two, three, four sides to use. I've got a quarter inch white drive pad. Uh, I've got some double sided velcro um, and I'll cut this in half and then we will stick it on like so and that just holds it enough to keep it from rolling up. If any of you guys know uh, even if you try to wrap that under like that and do it it'll start to roll on you. So you got to keep something to keep that terry towel from rolling up on you like that. So that's that's what we do. Uh, I've had this for, I don't know, quite some time. Uh, I used to just buff with uh, used maroon pads and just keep the same one with all the IFT cleaner on it going through the whole thing. And then uh, try to dry that with a towel. Uh, I don't know. I guess you can do that. But I'd rather spritzer the floor with the IFT. I let it sit for 10-15 minutes. And then start buffing it uh, with the terry towel. And uh, what's nice about that is as it's cleaning the floor it's picking up some of that slurry I'm not getting a big mess that I was getting with uh, just using uh, what do we got here yeah so just buffing with the maroon pad so anyways I mean you can do it either way uh oh you know what that means sorry I got interrupted by my wife uh, isn't that how it always is? You go to do something, you sneak off, and then they... It's like, if I get quiet, she comes and finds me. <laughs> so the only only way I could do this is go find a quiet spot. Anyways, that's just funny. So, it's interesting. Uh, anyways, I just was saying, uh, that's my Sunday. I just wanted to put out some uh, little content. And uh, maybe I'll get some... Uh, video of tomorrow and uh, we'll go from there so thanks for watching back so soon uh, let's keep that up let's look inside uh, let's see everything seems to be perfecto all right so we'll put that in the dryer. It's going to take a while to dry that. Uh, it gets wet in that foam. I want to make sure we get that all out since we're going oil base. Don't water and oil do not mix. So anywho we're going to get this out of here. Got some older towels in here. They only last for so long just so you guys know. They start to lose their, uh, whatever you call it, mojo. Um, you can get that back by adding, uh, uh, you can stick in a uh, softener in the dryer if you want to do that. But I don't want to do that because I don't know how that's going to react. To the finish now never tried it so I don't know but 
I'm just thinking I might have some fish eyes, especially on the oil base. I'm not sure. So when they wear out, they wear out. So I get 36 for around 16 bucks. So if you do the math, I can get, I don't know. They'll tell you how many washes you get before it actually loses its stuff too. So, but yeah, I can get a whole year out of these if I want. So here we go. Let's go this way. All right. So I cleaned this a little while ago, a couple days, a week. And uh, starting to get a little packed up again. It's amazing how that happens. So, what we got? We got nothing in there. I want to put a towel in. I'm going to put a shirt. I'm going to put a couple of these in there. Maybe this one too. Keep it from thunking. Let's see what we got here. Power on. Sometimes I have to ask my wife how to run this. It's pretty bad, huh? Uh, I can count on one hand how many times I've done laundry in 18 years. So I've been a pretty lucky man. Uh, yeah. Need I say more? Um, now my daughter, on the other hand, has to do her own clothes. So my mom will... My mom. <laughs> My wife. Oh, that's terrible. I'm not gonna live that one down when she sees this. Oh man. All right. I apologize for that. Although I will say this, my mother washed my clothes when I was a kid, and um, I could literally almost wear the same clothes the next day. She just stayed on top of it. Bless her heart. Um, she made my bed. She didn't like the way I made it, so she made it. And looking back, you know, she should have made me make my bed, but I didn't. I didn't do my laundry. But my daughter, uh, my wife makes my daughter do her laundry, and she's like a kid. You know? And she's 14, and she's been doing it for I don't know since she was 11, probably. So, but again. Um, I'm going to say this, and I don't know if it's shameful or not, but I've only done laundry a handful of times. And uh, so let's see what we got here. It's dark in here, so pardon me for that. So we just want to go to a normal dry, I think, and then I think i got to hit that. Voila. It's on. It's on. So, yeah, I, um... I did a couple loads early on, and then, you know, I don't think my wife liked the way I did laundry, and so I would try to do some stuff for her a couple times, and yeah, anyways, she does my laundry. She even folds it and puts it away, um, so, hey, you two, there they are, I was just talking about laundry. How you do mine and how, you never do mine. Uh, what's that? How I do yours and you never do mine? Yeah, I've tried, but it never seems to work out very well. And how my daughter has done her laundry for a couple of years now? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but she will not do Three. Ashlyn's laundry at all, so. I will, every so often. And then I was talking about. She just does her own. Right. Then I was talking about. How my mom did my laundry you know and how i haven't done any laundry so anyways yeah generations and i was talking the same with making your bed? i never you your bed? i didn't i tried to make my bed but my mom didn't like the way i made it so she made it for me i could make it and then i come back and she would just redo it so i just quit making my bed so there was probably some never fix it when you make the bed. yeah you always leave it. But how often do I make our bed? Same with her. I never I don't fix make, it. I don't Twice make a year? When I'm sick. When she's sick? Or I'll just do it and all of a sudden she passes out like, What? Yeah, you made a bed? Whoa, are you okay? 
anyways, yeah, so, all right, uh, where was I at, oh, laundry, uh, yeah, so we'll dry those applicators, and, yeah, I want to make sure that's pretty dry, uh, water and oil don't mix, so, uh, we'll probably dry that for an hour, and, um, test it, and see if I need to go a little longer, so, Anyways, that was the rest of today's video. Um, I'm going to work or start to get together some stuff for my park guide system. This is the original system. And you can see here. They have two. They have the newer version, Mark II. Which has got some nicer things. It has... Um, uh, Let's see, what do we got here that I like? Um, oh, so it has this uh, ruler pin connector. I really like that. Um, and these uh, three millimeter drill guides are, they just fit in the, the holes better to drill. This one here, it seems to be larger. I don't quite... Oh, I see how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to have to use this for my drill guide uh, for the 3 millimeter versus just going right through... I believe the other one goes right through these uh, the peg holes. That's how it actually uses it. It reduces a couple steps. Which makes total sense, you know. If you can do that, do it. Also, I think that's going to allow for some, uh, another, yeah, another little variance that could cause it to be off a little bit. So, I'm going to mess with that. All right. See you tomorrow on the recoat.